Welcome, members of the CIA. That's not the Central Intelligence Agency, but the Crazy Italian Army. Welcome. This is your fearless leader, the Crazy Italian. And we're doing something a little different today. We're doing the No Man's Sky Let's Play. I believe this is part 15, and we, there's been a new update to the game recently. So I'll let you read, pause the video, and read the um, update notes that are on the screen there. They have some things like base building and stackable products. And if you can, you can play in different modes. I'm still playing in normal mode, which is the mode I started out in. Um, you can also play in survival mode, where you die a lot easier, or you can, and resources are scarce. Or you can play in creative mode, um, where you can still build. In every mode, you can build bases, I guess now. But um, in uh, creative mode, the, you have unlimited health and unlimited resources and you can't unlock any trophies for the game or milestones or anything I guess in the uh, creative mode so anyway I'm gonna stick with the normal mode and try to continue it says you might be moved to a different part of the universe because they had to regenerate the universe so I'm not sure where I am dropped more warp cells for hyperdrive requires any amount of speed Craft any matter, craft warp cells. Okay. So I'm at a space board, a space dock. Um, I'd like to say one thing at the beginning of this video. We have surpassed a milestone for the Crazy Italian YouTube channel. We have over 500 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you so much for all your love and support, friends. Um, I really appreciate it. I've been working hard. And um, now if we could just get more people to be active on the channel, that'd be great. I do really appreciate the people that have been being active and watching the videos and commenting and liking the videos. That, um, I really do appreciate that. And I try to watch a lot of your videos and like and comment on them as well. It takes a lot of time, but I've been trying to do it as best I can. Um, anyway, let's... Um, See if I can figure out what the buttons do. I haven't played this in so long. Okay, there's the discoveries. Anyway, so you can see some of the star systems I discovered in the planet. I guess the first one that I named, I named after my father, Francesco. You can see it at the bottom there. Um, so that's just the old ones. Um, those are just some statistics, kind of boring. The controls. Just going over that a little bit in my head. Build menu. Show HUD. Quick menu. Those are different now. Those D-pad buttons, I believe. Scan, move. So there's a quick menu down on the D-pad and show HUD is on the left and the build menu is up above. Options. We've got the volume. Let's, let's decrease the, uh, the music volume and the sound effects volume a little bit. Okay. Okay, there's the quick menu. Mining beam. Here's our multi-tool inventory. We've got seven slots. I believe I had I thought I had more slots than that. I guess I don't remember right. I guess that's what I had. And um, Starship Inventory, I've got 15 slots. The hyperdrive has got one, puts one trip remaining in it. Launch thrusters at 82%.
and the exit suit. You've got two open slots. You've got a gig charm. The grog rather we can sell. Hazard protection's at 100%. Life support's at 88%. Starship that I want to sell. I guess not. Maybe the shielding plate. Let's transfer that to the exosuit. Okay. All right, let's go inside. Atlas pass required. I don't have any Atlas passes, so I can't go that way. Is there something over here that we can look at? No, I guess not. Let's see if we can get us some carbon isotope. Get a little carbon there. Carbon there. A little carbon there. Let's go this way, see if there's something over here. Atlas pass required. Well, I guess you can't, there's nothing to do in here. Oh, well, there's a station terminus. It's a teleporter, that's new in this new update. So this I thought would make you teleport back to your home base, but I don't have a home base yet. So I don't know what would happen if I teleport. Let's go over to the other side of the station first. See if I, there's a terminal. got enough thruster to make it up there. Maybe if I had done it correctly the first time try, instead of running into the wall, I would have been able to make it, but I need to upgrade my jet pack so I have more thrusting capabilities at some point. Okay, this side has um, some aliens. guy. No, no one will serve you for farming needs better than I. I assure you, do you have a planetary base? Provide a terminal for me there and my services are yours. I could do the farmer. So I don't have a base yet, so I can't hire a farmer, but this is where I would hire him. I'm confronted by a being who is eager to make a good impression on me. They are a farmer and looking for employment. I consider you apple carefully. A farmer is a reliable source of trading goods. Once established, it could increase my spending power considerably. Sorry. If you change your mind, I'll be here unless I've snapped up by someone with more or something. Let's talk to this guy. Yes, 
My good friend, Quad Luck, for both of us, I am specialist in construction, in search of a new position. Have you established a planetary base? If so, give me a terminal to work at and I'll build you the foundations of an empire. The being grabs my hand and shakes it vigorously as I approach them. Their wide set eyes fix me with a friendly gaze and I am not surprised when they speak to me in my own language. Yeah, this that's new that the, everything they're saying is in our language before only the words like the Gek words and stuff that I had learned by talking to aliens over and over and over again and learning their words. Um, well, could we read only a few of the words? And um, I forget how many words I had learned, maybe about 50 of them or something. So out of the whole language, I only knew 50 words. So you can imagine what little I knew when I would speak to them. Okay, I've got to make preparations. He needs a construction terminal. Let's talk to this guy. Milestone accomplished. That's six aliens. Five aliens, I guess. That's six. I can't read it. Maybe six? Let me see. Why can't I interact with this guy? Is my inventory full? That's weird. Let's go to this terminal and sell some stuff. Let's sell some items. Sell that Gek Charm. Yes, received. And the Gragra, let's sell that. Yes, Trophy earned foundation. Huh. Wonder what that is. I guess maybe sell this shielding plate. Yes, received. Sell the platinum. Yes, Let's keep the. Let's sell a little carbon. Let's sell like 200 carbon and keep 500 roughly. And I wish there was a way to go faster. It's going pretty fast, but it seems slow when you're waiting for it. Got zinc. Let's keep the zinc. That I assume is in my starship inventory. Let's go to exosuit inventory. Let's go to the starship inventory. We got a lot of Thammy and Nine. Sell um, some of that Thamian 9. Let's sell uh, about 500 of it. I was playing No Man's Sky and it's kind of fun. I just can't lie. Well, it's a little slow at times. I know that. But I'm enjoying it just the same. It's a little bit change of pace from the last Guardian that I've been playing. Let's sell that much. I think I'll keep the Heridium and the Plutonium. We need those for different things. And Heridium was kind of scarce. Let's see what they got to buy. 